Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be doing my episode review, or I should say reviews, for both The Walking Dead Season 8 Finale and Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 Premiere. I am doing a combined review uh, because today was Survival Sunday with each show literally back-to-back. -back. First, we had The Walking Dead Season Finale, immediately followed by Fear the Walking Dead Season Premiere. So I decided that I will do both. Uh, both I will do uh, one review for both shows combined in. Excuse me, in one video. I myself just got back from attending one of these Survival Sunday screenings. It was a lot of fun. Got a cool poster. If you saw my Facebook live stream video I did for the official Facebook page of The Edward, you can check out the link down below. You'll see where I talk about my screening experience and I show off the poster. Now, before I begin, of course, please be warned this is going to be a spoiler filled uh, episode review, or I should say reviews. Spoilers to, are about to follow for both. The Walking Dead Season 8 Finale and Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 Premiere. Again, big, big, big spoiler-filled premiere he review here starting right now. Well, uh, I gotta say, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was, uh, am still uh, disappointed. I'm incredibly disappointed with the Walking Dead Finale. Something I never thought I would ever hear myself say because... All these years, I've always been such a fan of the show, and I'm still a fan of the show. And not once has it let me down or disappointed me until now. I think one of the reasons why I'm, I feel so disappointed is because the showrunner Scott M. Gimple, Andrew Lincoln, who plays Rick, Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl, all of them teased and hyped up this episode saying that it was epic and awesome and that it and Skim, Gimple himself said it's quote too big too big end quote he said it was too big for TV almost because of the sheer scale of it now in my mind I pictured a massive all-out final assault between the saviors and the allies and all we got was a quick charge up the hill and then uh, all of the Savior's guns malfunctioning thanks to Eugene sabotaging, and then most of them are wiped out. And then the rest of them are, uh, the rest of them, the ones that are just injured are either t uh, taken out by our heroes, and then the rest of them surrender. And then we get a short, all too brief fight between Negan and Rick. Not much of a final stand, or last stand. And then the rest of the episode, um, the rest of the episode is like everybody returning back to their homes to get ready to start rebuilding for the future. But I'm just, this episode just felt too short to me. It felt too short and I was really let down by that. Now in the Sunday survival Sunday screenings, um, it was uh, commercial free, which might've been one of the reasons why it felt so short. But at the same time, it just, I don't know. It, it, it just felt like it could have been longer. It felt like we were, uh, we were due or owed a proper final battle. We got a small skirmish at best. This wasn't the final battle that I was hoping for or expecting. This was probably my least favorite season finale. Granted, I've enjoyed... All the other season finales, yes, even the cliffhanger one from season six where we don't see who Negan killed. I enjoyed that episode. But I don't think I liked this one as much as I have enjoyed previous season finales. This, I just feel cheated, a little ripped off. But at the same time, I'm not going to st stop watching the show. <laughs> And I have to remind myself, I think if any of us are feeling or experiencing disappointment, we have to remind ourselves that it's just a TV show and we shouldn't take it so personally. I think it just didn't personally satisfy me and my expectations. That being said, 
um, this episode was not without its moments. Probably the best moment, the one that made us all cheer <clears throat> and applaud as soon as it happened, was when the saviors were about to open fire on our heroes. All of their guns misfire, literally backfire, and hit them in the face and kill a number of them. And then it injures Negan, crippling his hand. And then our heroes take, mo take advantage of the confusion and open fire on the remaining saviors. That was epic. Okay, this whole episode in its entirety was not epic, but that particular scene was epic. I lost my mind during that scene. I was sitting there with my friend. We got really excited. In fact, the whole theater just lit up like a big ball of fire. We're all like, yeah! So that was awesome. That scene, that moment alone was awesome. So this episode was not without its moments, but overall disappointing that was probably the best moment of this whole the whole the, the best scene of this whole episode but overall it was very disappointing i really hate to say that i really do because i'm such a fan of the show i love the show but i just feel incredibly disappointed however i do think this is worth a rewatch i think if i watch it one or two more times on demand or something then maybe I'll slowly come around to it. But I just feel like I have so many issues with it. Like, number one, I was hoping we would get the scene adapted from the comics where Jesus and Negan have this awesome one-on-one -on -one hand hand-to-hand -hand combat where Negan actually breaks Lucille on Jesus's back while trying to kill him. And then you you Jesus basically drop kicks him and decks him a few times. And then I also thought we were gonna see Dwight hold up Lucille and declare he's the leader of the saviors and uh, say that the war is over. I thought Negan might have died. I was okay with him both living and or dying. I was okay with either one. But when Rick slit his throat, I thought, oh shit, they are going to kill him. But then I looked closer and like that slash across the throat, it didn't seem to go deep enough or wasn't that fatal. And sure enough, he lives. Okay, that's fine. That's how it happens in the comics, I think. Uh, battle scene, little to no battle, more of a quick skirmish, so no prolonged epic final battle. That was pretty disappointing. Uh, nobody seemed to react except for Terra. No, but none of the other allies seemed to welcome back Aaron and welcome and thank the Oceanside ladies for coming to their aid. As epic and as cool as that scene was when they're throwing Molotov cocktails at the saviors outside of Hilltop... None of the allies showed up and welcomed them into the new community or alliance. Um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, you know, it's just the lack of a final... You know what? Everything else in the episode was actually pretty damn good. It was really good. It was just the lack of one final battle that is really pissing me off. On the other hand, I am immensely satisfied with that epic moment we got where the saviors of uh, guns uh, malfunction and uh, most of them are killed. But um, the fight between Negan and Rick could have been better. Uh, and then uh, I hate the fact that Laura survived. I was hoping she and Arat would die uh, because Laura's the one who wanted to see Dwight punished and then she seemed pretty aggressive and nasty like Negan and all of a sudden she's the one who says, okay, it's over, we give up, that's it. And then we see her back at the sanctuary planting fresh vegetables or something. It's like, really? Okay, so now you, Negan, one of Negan's right-hand ladies is now okay with living at peace with their former enemies. And then all this, and then then it left a kind of a negative taste in my mouth where it's like, oh great, so now Maggie's going to the dark side and she's bringing Daryl with her. And, um, and then she's somehow convinced Jesus, Mr. Moral Compass, Mr. Right and Wrong, that uh, they need to do this, that Rick and Michonne are wrong in keeping Negan alive, so now they're going to kill him when the moment is right. Whatever happens in season nine regarding Daryl and Maggie plotting to kill Negan... If they kill him or if they don't, fine. I'm okay with that. Just as long as they can win back or repair their relationship with Rick and Michonne, that's all I care about. That's that's what I want to see. Also, there was no explanation given for the helicopter. I thought we'd get a glimpse of the helicopter. I thought the helicopter would appear in the final battle and come to the aid of our allies. And then they're the helicopter pilot would be revealed, but nothing. There's nothing about the helicopter. I thought Jadis would join the final battle, an epic moment, but she didn't. You know, she just stayed at the heaps the whole time. 
Anyway, obviously I have a lot of issues with this episode, but as disappointed as I am, I am going to do my damn dis Oh wait, there was one more thing. So after Rick gives his little speech about the new world and building a bigger world and then refers to the massive herd down in the woods, I thought, oh, okay, so maybe the rest of the episode will be the allies and the saviors working side by side, fighting together against this massive horde of walkers that's approaching. And that never happened. The walker herd never showed up. It's down there in that valley and it's close by, but they never attacked. They, they never went down there to kill the walkers. And I thought, oh, okay, so maybe they're saving the big, exciting battle action sequences uh, for the walker herd down there. That's what I thought they were going to do. And they didn't. I was like, what the fuck? So are, are, are we going to see that walker herd in season nine? I sure as shit hope so. That would be nice. God. Don't get me wrong. I still love the show. I intend, believe me, I intend on watching season nine. I just hope the season nine premiere makes up for the season eight finale. That ultimately, that's my final thought on the matter. <sighs> oh, well. You know what, guys? Um, don't take this review to heart because I may, may do a re-upload uh, depending on how I feel after I rewatch this episode in its entirety. I'll probably watch it once or two more times and really really uh invest in what's going on and maybe i'll change my mind but for now here's my final thoughts good episode it had certain it had one epic moment for me one really big highlight but the and the rest of the episode was good but overall i was incredibly disappointed at the lack of a final battle so that's all maybe it's just because i'm an action junkie i don't know uh, on the plus side, I don't hate uh, Eugene anymore. <laughs> you know, for a while there, I was starting to really dislike him. But uh, I, my heart uh, just sang when I realized that he had sabotaged all the bullets. Now, I don't know if he was planning to do that from the beginning or if he was simply inspired by Gabriel. Either way, um, <laughs> either way, I don't hate him anymore. And you know what? This uh, show actually did do something that I've always uh, warned everybody else about. Expect the unexpected. Things may not go the way you think they are. And now that I say that out loud, I should really try living by my own words or suggestions. <laughs> so maybe that's why I feel disappointed is because this episode did not go the way or the direction I thought it would. And I need to accept that. Simple as that. So maybe go watching it a second time will bring more, will help me feel more at peace with it or not. Uh, so anyway, that's my episode review for Walking Dead, and now I'll do